a very popular question in my DMs is how I chose my practice area. And I wouldn't really say that I chose my practice area. I would actually say that my practice area chose me. Um, I think a lot of lawyers and law students ask this because they are either looking to choose their practice area or they're looking to change into another practice area because they don't like what they're practicing currently. I'll just give you a backstory about how I chose my practice area or how it chose me, I suppose. And hopefully that helps you determine what you want to do or what you want to try out. So when I was in law school, I thought I was going to be doing corporate law. I thought I was going to be doing mergers and acquisitions and you know helping franchises, writing contracts, doing deals, things like that. And I took classes in law school that pertain to this. You know, I took contracts, drafting, and mediation, although mediation has helped me. But I thought I was going to be in this world of purely non-litigation, contractual negotiations, right? But when I got out of law school, there were really no positions for a new or even a young attorney doing this type of work. And so my dad, who's actually a corporate attorney, suggested that I get a job doing commercial law. And commercial law is litigation between businesses. So if a business is suing a business or a business is getting sued, that's commercial law. So I got a job at a bigger firm doing commercial law. But the problem was that there weren't, there weren't a lot of commercial law cases at this particular firm. But what they did have a lot of was insurance defense. So they represented big insurance companies against homeowners that were suing them. So the opposite of what I do now, right? And I mean, I had never seen an estimate before. I had never, I, I knew pretty much nothing about insurance, let alone property insurance or property damage for that matter. But I learned, it was a steep, steep learning curve. So they had so many cases that a lot of those cases spilled over onto my desk and you know, pretty soon half of my cases were insurance defense. And I was learning all of this stuff about insurance law and property damage and roofs and pipes and leaks and all of these things. And so I started doing that and I, you know, everybody is different when it comes to what firm they want to work at, what kind of law they want to do. And it came to me that big law was just not for me. Medium sized law was just not for me. I, di I didn't want to work at a big firm. It just wasn't something or it wasn't where I felt um, that I was the most at home and the most comfortable and, and, you know, ready to jump in. And it just didn't feel like my place, I suppose. And so after I was doing insurance defense for about a year and a half, I started looking for a job at a smaller firm. And a lot of smaller firms do, um, you know, plaintiff's work. So they represent the homeowner, they represent the, you know, car accident victim, whoever it is. And, you know, I thought to myself, okay, you know, I could, I could definitely make the switch. I, I think I would feel better about it. I also wasn't exactly pleased with representing the insurance companies. I had a few instances where the case I was working on, I thought we should have handled differently and I was overruled because I was only a baby attorney. And so I made the jump, I made the jump to go to a smaller firm and work for plaintiffs, work for homeowners, represent them. And I just, I loved it. I loved it. I loved working for the homeowner. I loved representing them and teaching them about the law and explaining to them about their policy language and what to do and advising them. And it just, it made me feel so much fuller, so much happier. Like I was doing good and, and, you know, really contributing, really making somebody else's life better, which is, you know, half of the point of being a lawyer. And so I just, I just ran with it. I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And so that's why I say that my practice area chose me because I thought I was headed in completely different direction. I thought I was going to complete just non litigation, like everything contractual, which I was good at. I was good at writing contracts. I'm good at writing, but you know, the way I started practicing, the way I started learning things took me in the complete opposite direction. And I absolutely love what I'm doing now. I think I might even love it more than I would have loved, you know, corporate or contractual law. And that's how my practice area found me. So if you are unhappy with your practice area, or if you're a law student and you're trying to figure out what to practice, just let it come to you. Let it come to you. Try something out that you're interested in. And you know, if you become uninterested in it, think about, okay, what would I like to do? What is something that's always interests me? What is something that's always kind of pulled me towards it? What do I, what articles do I click on on Facebook? You know, things like that. And try that out, try out that practice area, you know, see what it does for you. If you don't, if you end up not liking it, change again. But you know, you don't need the big corner office at the big law firm you know, working 80 hour weeks to be a successful lawyer and to be respected and admired. You can do what you want to do. 
I mean, on the flip side of that, you also don't need to work in public service to be making a difference in people's lives and to serve your clients. So go where you're being pulled, but allow, allow practices to come to you. Allow cases to come to you. Try them out. See what you like. You may fall in love with a practice that you never thought you would like. And that could be your life's work. So let your practice area come to you. Try everything. And I, I promise you will find the practice area that is for you.